In today's world of business, using other people's money or OPM sounds almost like a trending topic. But in reality, it is how business is done and how most businesses get started or expand. There are a few caveats to doing this the right way. That's why I'm here to help you navigate this process. But before I get started, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Devon, my name is put in work Burke, the wealth builder himself. And if you love content like this and talking about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel and like this video. Okay, so as per Forbes.com, the average micro business requires $3,000 to get started. But the average household in America has saved only about $8,863 back in 2018. So it's probably less with the way the economy is right now. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to stick to these numbers. So that means the average American household would have to shell out one third of their savings to start a business that you don't know if it's going to flourish or fail. We all know that everyone's situation is different, so we can't say all would be struggling to start a business, but most people would have a hard time pulling three to five grand out of a savings account to start a business, right? So what do you do? What's the next move? Do you borrow some money? Who should you borrow from, right? Well, let's dive in and discuss each option nowadays, right? Now, let's start off with number one, business credit cards. This is like the first option to start borrowing money to build a business. I know it doesn't sound sexy, but it is still OPM, other people's money. The perks of getting a business credit card is the fact that you can get a credit limit that is usually three times the amount of your highest personal limit. So let's say you have a personal credit card of $5,000 limit, right? You usually get a business credit limit of at least $15,000, as long as you meet all the other requirements with whom you're getting the business credit card from. Another great feature about business credit cards is that they usually have a delay before the first payment. A good portion of business credit cards have a 0% interest rate for at least nine months after purchase. So this will give you some time to turn a profit before any interest has accrued. Plus, most business cards come with a bunch of perks like points that give you access to free or heavily discounted deals like business class flights, um, the usual of like rework spaces at a discounted rate and great deals on uh, hotels. If you want to check out my favorite business credit card, the link is in the description. All right. Number two, grants. Now, this is a great way to get some business funding without putting your credit at risk or having to pay back the money you receive, which is awesome when it comes to starting a business, right? Because who wants to pay back all that money you receive from a grant? Now, there are a lot of different grants out there for business owners. You just have to do your research. Okay, I'm gonna make a separate video um, with the top 10 grants, so definitely look out for that, okay? Number three, business loans. Now, this is a good option to fund your business, but I would try to take a loan unless your business is proven to have some type of cash flow already. Loans can make you or break you if you don't know what you're doing with your business. Also, most business loans require you to have good personal credit. So before you start putting your, you know, your your, your neck out there on the chopping block. You want to make sure your credit is up to par and you have a cash flowing business already. 
And if you want more information about getting a business loan, check out the link in the description, the Wealth Builders system.com that's wealth builders with a z system.com and i give you every insight you need to know about getting yourself a business loan business credit all things tied to business money also we have number four investors lastly we have investors right investors can be a great source of opm or they can be a great source of headaches there is a plenty a plethora of different places to get investors from, right? Especially with the power of social media and even sites dedicated to angel investors and things of that nature. Either option you choose when it comes to using OPM, AKA other people's money, you want to make sure you have a solid product or business that will be cash flow positive fairly soon, if not already, to make sure you're able to pay that loan back. All right, well, builders, until next time, it's the man, it's the myth, the wealth builder himself. Devon Pudding Work Burke, signing off for a guide to using other people's money when starting a business. Do remember, well, builders, make more, save more, build more. Uh, See that on my grind is an understatement.